What's up, YouTube? Rob here, bringing you episode 8 of my Aiden Carter shortstop road to the show here on MLB The Show 16. And in this video, we will be just quickly going over player comparisons right here. We're going to be jumping into the next game. We're just going to go through the Watt rosters and lineups quickly. You could pause if you want to see how all the other people in AA are doing. Alright. So it's batting two. We have the highest average on the lineup so far this season, batting 345. In 26 at bats. Still have yet to hit a home run. Hopefully that comes soon. So All we're right, going so to see gonna move ahead the to the next game where Carter will be inning. pinch hitting. Here for the Bay Bears. Be the bottom of the ninth, tied at seven. Let's see, slow motion. Swing and a miss, strike one on the nasty curveball. I was actually not expecting that to be the first pitch, but it was. And next pitch to Carter, fouled off behind home plate. Pitch number three, and Carter strikes out, so that wasn't as productive as I would have liked for a first pinch hitting appearance, but I do believe we end up winning that game. But we'll move ahead to the next game. We are down 2 nothing here in the first. Carter batting second in the lineup today. Next pitch to Carter, use some showtime. And that is driven deep to right to left center field, back, back, and center fielder is there right in front of the warning track for the out, and we will jump ahead to a couple innings later. We are up 4-2 to two with runners on first and second, nobody out. Carter takes the first pitch up and away for a ball. No, you start to worry that maybe this already has the makings of a short outing. And the pitch has hit right back up the middle, past the glove of the second baseman, and that will load up the bases. Still nobody out. Let's see if the Bay Bears could push across another run or two. Peter O'Brien up next, and he walked in his first plate appearance and scored a run. Went to count to O'Brien. Nobody wants to be the first guy to make it out, and so far, nobody has. A little is bouncer. bunted down the third baseline. The, the runner will get, get thrown out at home. O'Brien will be safe at first, Carter safe at second, and the other guy safe at third. So that base loaded bunt attempt didn't exactly work, so it keeps the base loaded still, even though it's one out now. Socrates Brito is up next. And he strikes out. That'll bring up Joaquin Arias. 1-1 count. Two outs. Base is still loaded. That'll be hit over the shortstop's head into left field. One run will score. Carter will run through any stop sign that might have been there. And he will score safely from second. And that will give the Bay Bears a 6-2 lead. And right now 6-5. And Carter's next at bat. Two outs, no one, oh, one man on, sorry, but there was no one. That'll be dribbled in front of home plate, but that'll be foul. The 0-1 pitch. That'll be driven to shallow left field. And he'll be there to catch it, so that'll be an out. And that will end the inning well. Carter's next at bat, he's one for three. He'll be batting from the right side this time as there is a lefty on the mound. Up seven to five. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Swing and a ball chop foul right at home. That curveball jammed Carter there a little bit. Lower than I was expecting. But so far, Bay Bears are on fire in terms of offensive production, and Carter helps out there with a base hit to center field, but Runner will not test the center field with arm and he'll stay at third and that will load up the bases once more for Peter O'Brien. Let's see what he can do with an 0-2 count. 
that's inside and low. It's a Takes ball third strikes. pitch for a ball, one and two. Want that one to be in the strike zone. Even with the bases loaded, this is still a strikeout situation, remember. To two balls two, two, two count now to O'Brien. You can see where they want to go to try and get him out. A lot of pitches in on the hands in this sequence. They don't want him to be able to extend. This that will be hit third. past third and past and short. One run will score. Another run coming position. home, and he'll be and safe as well. And that is a two-run single for Peter O'Brien. Carter advances to second. Bay Bears are up by four. Nine to five now. Back in the opening frame. Three toe up next, and that is driven to right field. Back, back, and that is gone. Socrates Brito with a two run shot. That will give the Bay Bears another two run, making it 11 to 5 now. Carter scores 12 5 now. Carter's first fielding opportunity of the game. Nobody out. 0 1 count. Hit to Arias. Flip on to Carter. Throw on to the first baseman, and that will be a successful double play. Okay, so next, 2-2 two -two count, two outs. Carter awaits the pitch, and that will ground a ball right to him. He almost overruns it. Throw on to first. There we go, successful once more defensively, slowly getting better with the glove, as we've seen over the last two or three videos. Carter's next and most likely last at bat of the game. He is two for four. Fouls off the first pitch that was up and away, 0 and 1. Next pitch. That is popped up behind first. Third baseman will be under right where the bullpen is. So two for five on the day, and that's I believe where he's going to end. But before that, Bay Bears up 13 to five now. Two outs, two on count to this guy. Ground ball too short. Carter snares it, flips it onto Arias with the glove, and that will be the end of the inning. Let's see. Carter actually gets one more at bat. Runners on first and third. Nobody out. Can Carter get his third hit of the game here in RBI? That is flown to center field. Not deep enough. Will the runner attack from third? No, he will not. So now sacrifice. Sacrifice. Did I just say sacrifice? Wow. Sacrifice fly for Carter. Anyway, so top of the ninth. Final fielding opportunity for Carter. It's a ground ball right to him. He will throw on to first, and that will end the ball game. Bay Bears win. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you all in the next video handful of fine individual performances to choose from in this one.